Actually, so I was playing cricket. You know, cricket bets are very expensive. So the time they're breaking, we're trying to improvise to just make it uh, alive. Then um, I started doing bets in 2010. Uh, um, then I, I was doing it uh, like a joke. Then I moved um, to a stem in 2012, I think. That's when I started doing uh, bets at a professional level. I was helping uh, Mr. Tusha at second one, second one I. He was doing some repairs, but the glue he was using wasn't suitable for that. The breakthrough came when one love in Masunda, uh, my friend, uh, broke his bed when he wanted it to get repaired by Samuel Mwakayen, popular known as Darajiga here in Zimbabwe. Um, he used to do it and uh, I do believe he's still doing it uh, in South Africa. Um, when um, Lavid Masunda got a bed from uh, Postports here, which was uh, Granicus, I think, um, he had no money to get it repaired. And he came in with it to me and said, you can do this, we need to experiment from this bed. Which, which, it, it was a proper bed and uh, for me it was hard to do it. But um, because my friend motivated me to do it, I tried it and it worked. And uh, Lafayette took it to sports club and uh, everyone saw it and said, who did this, who did this? And uh, Lafayette said, ah, it's Lund who did this. And people said, ah, it's more like Jiga, it's more like Jiga. Then uh, from there he came back and uh, reported that to me. And that pushed me to start doing bets at uh, professional level. Then uh, Chamuchi Baba came to the party uh, because we were living in the same location. He, and uh, he gave me his bet. I, I'm not sure which game he was going to play. I think it was um, against uh, Pakistan. And he said, uh, I need my best to get repaired for this upcoming tour. Then uh, I was shocked and an international bet coming to me for me to repair it. Then uh, I was um, shocked, then I took the beds home, then I fixed them and brought them back to Chibaba and Chibaba was impressed with the work and uh, he kept on entrusting me with his beds. Basically I've known Lundi for a while now, for a couple of years. He used to play for a club called uh, Royal in um, I think he still plays there. And he used to hang out with my, with my cousin brother, so that's how I got to know him. Before I started sending my best to him, I used to use Sam Wakayen. He used to be one of the guys that, you know, fixed bats. But uh, Sam moved to, to South Africa, so now I go to Lundu. Over the years, is you know, he got better at fixing bats, and now he's really good at it. And every time my bats needs a bit of help, I send it to him, especially my, my favorite bats. Otherwise, most of the time when they break, I just give it to you know to, to junior players that need that need uh, bats. But my favorite bats, I send it to him, and he does a good job. I, I carry on using them in international cricket. The turn around, big turn around came uh, when Chamu introduced me to Hamilton Masakata, and uh, Masakata entrusted me with his bats because he saw what the job I did at uh, Chamu's place. Then um, Masagata was impressed with the work and um, also Saki Daraza Bat came to the part. And uh, um, before uh, the tour of New Zealand, uh, Craig came with his bed. It was uh, broken uh, at the tour. And he said, this is the bed that I want to use um, in tomorrow's match. But now I was under pressure that I need to get the bed done today so that it will be used tomorrow. Then I went all night on it. Then I brought it back to Craig and uh, he was impressed. Then he went on to play with that bed and scored an uh, unbeaten 100 which helped, him to, which helped the team to get a victory in the first ODI against New Zealand. And uh, Craig was so happy that uh, I I repaired his bet uh, that he was looking forward to use uh, in the upcoming games and uh, from there 
I kept on advancing, advancing and uh, uh, repairing a lot of uh, international bets. Yeah, and uh, guys kept on coming from there. When I did uh, Craig's bet, um, Pakistan came here in Zimbabwe and um, Mashud came with his bet. He sent in his manager with his bet. It was uh, it was even a crack on the face. Then uh, I repaired it and he was so happy about it. Then uh, in the third order, I think, uh, Afi's bet got broken on the edges. Then uh, uh, Kudam Nyede referred him to me. Then I took the bet of Afi's and repaired it and brought it back. And uh, he was so happy to saw his bet uh, living again. And um, also the wicket keeper, the wicket keeper of Pakistan, he came with his bet. And uh, I did it. It was uh, broken on the shoulder, and I repaired it. And uh, guys were very, very impressive with the work. And also, Afiz mentioned that uh, I need to continue doing this because it's very difficult uh, to change bets each and every tournament, each and every series. Uh, they want their bets to, if it is his best bet, if it's get broken. They need it back, but if there is no one who can repair it, uh, there will be no option. But now they were with an option, and they were very happy about it. And uh, I do believe uh, that bet is still living, the bet of Afiz. Um, I first heard about uh, the bad doctor Nindu from Sam Makaini. I, I, Sam Makaini used to fix my bats, and as he was leaving for South Africa, he recommended Lunda to me, um, and and the fir first time I gave him just one of my bats, just wanted to see how 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 well can he perform a job. And I tell you, I was I was very pleased when the bat came back. It's exactly how I wanted and things like that. And since then, I've I've actually recommended him to the to the most of the Asian community side of things as well, so that they can. And now all of them actually send their bats to to Nunda because he does such a fantastic job. Um, some of my international bats actually broke as well and. And it hurted me because there were some of the good ones as well. But when I when I gave it to Nindu, when they came back and I started using it, they were actually the same. So he's he actually he actually is very good what he does. And some of the bats that I use at international cricket were actually fixed by Nundu. And the most uh, and the one that sticks out in my head is the one that I got in my hundred with um, in international cricket against New Zealand. So so I think all in all, I think he does a fantastic job. I think he's he's great at what he does, and I think it actually helps a lot of us because. Um, bats are quite expensive these days, so I think what Nundu does is it actually goes a long way from just fixing the bat. I think it actually helps a lot, a lot more youngsters who may not be able to afford a, a second bat. So for them, Nundu actually comes to the rescue and actually fix their bats so that they can use it again. That helps them to keep playing cricket. So I think for, for me, it's, it's not just about that this guy fixes bat. I think it goes further away from that. It goes a long way away from just fixing a bat. It actually gives someone that 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 cushion that if something goes wrong with the bat, which it can, then at least there's no need to fix and help.